A name is a title. It describes who and what it is. What is in your name? Look up the definition. Mine is Greek, defender of man, protector of mankind, American meaning the same, and so is the Scottish. I don't know what this so urge number is, but it is not my personality, neither is this expression of number nine. You can look it up if you like, but when I was a child, I looked up mine, and it is nothing like it is today. If memory serves me right, it was helper of man, teacher, thoughtful, considerate to others. And it was not for a boy, it was for a girl. It identifies the way you are and what you will become if you let it. I feel all my life I have been this way. I do love people, but some don't love me. It's okay. It is what's in my heart that counts to me. Kids who abused me as I was growing up needed help. We were adults by then, but I did not let the past stop me. And I did not live in that town anymore. I was on vacation. Her husband beat her up, and I took her and the children to a safe house. I hope she is doing fine. This is the only way I know how to get you to know about a name is by mine. You may see me different, but I am saved by grace and my works don't count. But I do know Jesus uses me and I am willing. His grace makes a part of his name. Like the name title of a judge, and you can see by the word. It will not be good, a secret they have to be against you. But Jesus' judgment is not like theirs. His is honest. His is by the law of the commandment. He gave years before you and I was even thought about. Their laws are against the Creator God. So what is in a name? The next time they call you a dope, tell them you are not heroin, but you would like to be marijuana and see what they say. My life with my name is what the way I live. I do like my name, and I do not know what else you could call me. But you have your opinion, and I have mine. Just make sure if you bring out the KJB and have a study on it. Don't forget to call me. I know Jesus will be there, and his name is better than all names, and is better than any definition I can think of. So what is in a name? You decide. It can be used as a contact. It is to keep you in control. It was first used as a military and then for the draft. In 1789, it became law for all, and the priests had control over it. They had to have birth birthdays. And who was mom and dad? Marriage, unemployment, death, and so on. A king, Louis the Sixteenth, was called the Paper King. You could change your name at any time, but after the French Revolution, it all changed. You had to register birth in 24 hours. This could not happen in enough time. Your name is a regulated area. So you have not free will to change your name anymore. Neapolitan was the one who got it, where you have to go through a lot when you get a divorce. It is more legalese, and your last name comes from your father's work. Having two names became a problem, so Jeremy Benavam was the one who came up with the middle name. It was a way to help keep all names to the person so you could be identified easier. So you have a three-part name. This is also now is for identification and shipwrecks. This was better than branding someone. In the crusade, they would brand themselves to identify them as in the crusade. It is identification as writing on the body, tattoos today. Leviticus 19 and 28, ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you 
I am the Lord. 400 years after all this, now you cannot change your name at all. In 1899, you could change your name, but you had to put it in the newspaper. This was the last year it could be done. The body became a resource. Identification started with the criminals. Height and measure your body parts, head, underarm, foot, etc. But it was so much data, so they came up with index cards. It also had a photograph on it. It had a code on them, too. This is the first search engine for people. This was used for more than anarchists than for criminals. In 1818 through 1890, it got widespread popularity. 1900, it was like fingerprints today. Fingerprints made the body more identifiable. And it has its own code. Ju An Be Ju 1901 changed the way names was used among with birth certificate, death, judicial divorce, and so on. Rene Amadolf, 19 and 24, put in numbers so you could be more identified. He is the evil person of every man. By the word person would be known given rights and held responsible for his actions. Almenados is a word for legal ties. This is where you get human rights. Your name emerges in economics, military, colonial, social, welfare, etc. Only countries that have welfare has ID cards. It is mandatory to have a name, mandatory to destroy. It has been this way for about 150 years now. Your name is the reference of the law, is the body, gap between the body and document. The body is an address. This is for the rule of law. Identity is duplication control, duplication with registration. Identity, regain, or means of monopolizing the registers. Now with the internet, we have a new identity. In America has national strategy for trust identities in cyberspace. On the logo, the date is April 2011. In the name, there is always somebody else. The question is today is can we choose who this somebody else is? The only way is in Jesus Christ.